Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. PVE here. I'm gonna do that video that I promised about my uh, OBS uh, Streamlabs OBS setup with Remote Play and my PS4. So um, this is how my screen looks for this tutorial. Um, if I move to my other screen, it'll move stuff around. So I won't be able to really show you that, or I might show you at the end that way if it does mess stuff around. It's not that bad. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. When you first get uh, the Streamlabs OBS, and I go to, I went to my settings here, and I went to stream, and I use Restream because I stream to Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube all at the same time when I go live. And this is just your key. There's a bunch of videos on here, so I'm not gonna go into that because you can uh, look up other videos, and this video is not really based on that itself. So then you go here to output and I go to advance, I go to stream, I have just one audio, um, I have my uh, graphics card doing the encoding, my presets are YouTube, uh, quality is quality, um, the pre-bypass uh, mode, I have that enabled, and then this goes off of your upload speed of your internet, I have mine to 6000, depending on what you have it on, depending what your upload speed is, is what you want to have it on, typically, uh, you want to have it on half whatever your upload speed is so for me um, this is what I have and then uh, this is standard I didn't move any of this right here so that literally all I moved was just um, this for my graphics card the preset for YouTube you could pick twitch or this you could do custom ones but they don't all work for YouTube that well but when you do YouTube it takes technically or not technically for me it, it works for the other ones so I just have it on that um, down here, this is my recording. It's just standard. This is the, where the file gets saved to. And before, once again, my graphics card um, bypass enabled all, again. And then my bit rate's a lot higher because you're not really streaming. You're just doing audio. Uh, you're just doing video recording. So I found out that this really doesn't matter. So I just put it up high just because. And then the rest of the stuff, I didn't move anything else in here. So that's it for that. And then. Um, these are the two different things that are they're they're to me they're very important this is going to be your output where the audio of your game and and typically pretty much what this is doing is to send in the audio to your headset the audio that would be coming from your monitor or your speakers or whatever it's all going to your headset but you want to do it this way you don't want to just plug in a headphone or use USB headset to your computer because that doesn't necessarily stop it from still sending it out through the TV and everything the way this program works sometimes it still sends it out so you're gonna want to do it like this and then you just pick whatever speakers whatever this is my headset so just pick whatever headset you're gonna be using like I said I do USB this is your microphone so this is my microphone right here and then on my microphone you see over here I have um, I have filters I believe it's on here is it? there it is and so I have this and it, what it does is you can bring down the noise around you so you don't pick up like the fans like when I'm streaming and when I'm gaming there is a lot of noise going on because I have my PlayStation 4 that's modded I don't know if you guys seen um, pictures of that, the ones I put on Instagram it has two huge computer fans that were put in the back of it where I cut a bit coal to keep that PlayStation cold because it was overheating so I have those fans going on I have the fans from the computer going on I have a big fan under me to bring in cold air into the room that I'm in because we're using uh, like packing blankets uh, to reduce the sound from the rest of the house into my setup and then they also double as a blue screen which I'll show you in the camera section so I, I knocked this all the way down um, this right here is how loud you're going to be before the microphone starts picking you up and this is how loud you can get or something like that but you want to mess with these this is how I have them for me. It works perfect for me and my headphones. This is for if you get really loud, it'll actually bring your voice back down and keep it leveled with the rest of uh, the stream. The rest of it, it pretty much what it does is say, I'm talking like how I'm talking right now, and then all of a sudden I go, Oh my god, that was so amazing! Um, it's gonna be super loud for everybody. It's if people have headphones on, it's gonna hurt their ears because you're just you're going from like you know a five to like a 15. In a second so it's just gonna pop and it's it's gonna suck and what this does is if it only allows you to get so loud 
before it stops you and then it doesn't allow you to get any louder so if i was to you oh my god this is amazing it, it would you guys would just hear it as oh my god this is amazing that's literally how that works and so it's really good so that's what i have for my microphone to keep the noise down and so it doesn't pack up uh, uh pick up background noise because when i'm streaming um i have my my son and my daughter in the living room with my wife and they're watching tv or playing and stuff like that and, and on the stream you don't really hear that too much it's it's really really cut down uh, because of those filters so that's what i have for that and then on this one i don't have any filters you don't really need any filters on there sorry i'm like getting sick okay and then um i'm gonna go over to the playstation side of it now and then that way you guys can see that so this is the playstation right here and this is if you're doing it the one account method which would be the method that's wired to the computer um you would go to your settings you would go to devices you would go to audio and then you want to turn this off just so it's not flipping back and forth back and forth and you don't have to do this step every time you're trying to stream or every time you're trying to do the remote play method so you want to turn that off so that once you set this up it stays that, that way if you see this it says uh, the remote play um, uh, microphone through remote play and so that's going to be this right here you're going to want to have this little button this little uh, microphone on if you hear me talking you'll be able to see me on there it's moving um, that's how it picks up your microphone this you want to have it to TV or uh, AV amplifier and this is what's going to allow your chat party whenever they talk it's going to send that audio to your headphones um, because of the way we have it set up on the OBS side it's going to send it to your headphones and whenever your friends talk you will be able to hear them on there so then um, say you were to make your chat party and I always make mine private so random people don't join even though on my last stream somebody joined in don't even know how they got in there because it was private it was it was weird playstation had an issue with their uh their chat parties where you would just you would join your friends but it would send you to random people that you never even talked to or met or anything it was so bad they fixed it but i guess there's still some bugs in it so i do mine private and if you see my little microphone it is moving if you see me pointing over here it's because this is the where the playstation screen is at this is the monitor one right now um so yeah uh this is how you do the one account method which i do use sometimes but i i like using the two account method so the two account method is this this is going to stay the way this is and this is fine and then what you want to do here is um you want to invite your secondary account the account the main account that you're actually going to game with um on here so there i send that person an invite so now you get your second controller the one that's going to be wireless so that you can be further away or something from it um, which doesn't always work and I'll explain why um, so this is the one that's wireless so you just turn it on and you pick your profile and then if you see I can't do anything right now and it tells you right there to press the PlayStation button in order to switch to your other account so once you press it now you're in your main account so now I go to the private party I accept it I go in there and now I'm, and in, now I'm in here but you hear this echo this echo is because, because let, me let me show you how to read it first so you're gonna so you go, go to the person who invited you in your, your, your first account, account using, using the one the headphone, headphone method, method the one headset, the one headset method. method and you mute him yeah. and echo gone no more echo so he's gonna have to be muted so you don't hear yourself and then make this weird echo effect happen um, but your friends because they're gonna be in the same chat party with this profile um, they're they're gonna hear your voice technically through that profile which is fine because it's still your voice is still gonna know it's you um, and then this profile right here that shows that there is no microphone or anything connected to um, doesn't matter because that's your main profile but they can hear you and you'll be able to hear them because you have the audio of the group going to your TV or AV uh, uh, amplifier. So then everything works fine. And this is so you can still run the one headphone or one headset method and have your wireless controller. Now, I like doing this method because if when you're playing, you don't really see the controllers down here. 
but in case you move it or tug it or whatever you don't have to worry about messing anything up so this is my preferred method of doing this um, I do also run um, like a little pack thing that you put back here and allows you to have like turbo triggers so a lot of times I'm wired in anyway so it doesn't matter but here's the thing that I know of there's no way of connecting a headset in here and being able to hear and talk to your teammates you can only hear them you won't be able to talk to them so if you want to be sitting all the way in the back you know on a sofa and have your TVs up there and doing the streaming or whatever and doing it that way and I don't know why the mighty one decided to pop his head in there but that is the mighty one that is my oldest son he's a goofball okay hold on okay <laughs> yeah so there you go that's the mighty one that's that's my oldest okay so um so yeah i there's no way of doing that there there is a way that you can work around this if you're willing to go that that route so what you would do is you connect your headphones in here you'll only be able to listen into your friends then you get a microphone a decent microphone you connect it to your computer you leave it further out by where the playstation is or whatever or you could probably even bring it closer to you um, you mess with those settings, those filters that I showed you on the Streamlabs OBS uh, side, and you would tweak them so that it doesn't pick up any other sounds other than you talking. And then you would just have to talk a little bit louder than normal so that if that microphone is further away from you, it'll pick you up with the same, uh, um, the same audio as if you were right next to it. And then that way you could truly be wireless and have your conversations and everything like that. Otherwise, you're going to have to get like a cord like the one I have. This cord is, I think, 10 feet. It might be even a little bit longer than 10 feet. So I could be way back there. But then you're not really wireless again. So doing this with this method, it just it's just kind of silly because you're still technically wired in. Um, but for me, it's perfect because I'm like three to four feet, three feet away from my setup. So it's, it's perfect for me. But that is how you still be able to do the one headset method with uh, the one profile method or the two profile method. It doesn't matter. This is the best way to do it. Just get yourself a USB um, headset and avoid so many headaches on trying to figure out how to set stuff up. So thank you for watching and have a good one. If you have any more questions or anything else that you want me to help you with, um, let me know if you're free a specific time of the day or a specific day of the week. And I'll try to do a live stream so that I can walk through you step by step what I'm doing. And if you have any specific questions, you could just uh, genuinely ask me. Hey, what did you just do there? What does that do? And I can break down all oh, this right here, and I'll break you down everything that I know that that fixes. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. Uh, like I said, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Um, otherwise, have a good day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and share the video and tell your friends. I uh, really appreciate that. And also, if you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. But leave a comment as to why you give it a thumbs down so I know how to improve. I can only get better. Um, and I can only improve if you guys tell me what I need to improve in. Because for me, I might see something as being okay. And for you guys, it might be really annoying. So just tell me what it is. And I'll try to improve on that as best as I can. But like I said, if you give me a thumbs down, give me a little a little breakdown as to why you give me so I could try to fix that. And maybe next time you can give me a thumbs up. So have a great weekend. And I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tonight, but definitely Monday. So if I don't catch you later on today, I will catch you on uh, Monday. So have a good one.